what's up guys i wanted to make a video about friends and people that you associate with um you know people often underestimate how much impact other people have on them and it's one of the most crucial things of the course of your life and i think it deserves um, understanding and a deeper dive so that's what i'm gonna be doing i don't think it's gonna be that deep but let's talk about it um so you know you often go through life and meet random people that we vibe with and you know usually it's random well nothing is random but we meet them meet all kind of people in all kind of places and somehow it happens that you you know become friendly with each other but over the time everyone grows different values for whatever reason you know everyone has a different journey <clears throat> it's just life you know everybody's different and that's the beauty of life you know and then it's not that boring <clears throat> so and when you have these people and your interests start to differ and you keep spending time with them um you know it 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 leads you the way where the majority or the the easier path leads and that's you know that's where the trap is in this world there are so many traps that people really fall for them and don't even know that they fell for a trap and they think they live their lives the way they want to be living them but in fact they've been indoctrinated manipulated bamboozled to live a certain way in which they don't even want to be living but that's just life you know in the end everyone everyone's responsible for their own actions and their own life and when you you know are one of the few the minority that um understands this or like figures this out then you know you should do something about it because the the life of conformity uh, you know takes its toll in in the end it might be sooner it might be later but it does it always comes back at you Mm. yeah and you know when you're around these people that are okay with living in this manner you are sort of you are sort of like becoming like them because the people that you're around with around you start to pick up on their behavior way of thinking mannerisms way of talking laugh that's just how we are we are sort of tribal beings when we associate with people they have an impact on us uh, in this way and 
and you cannot really fight it. It's your subconsciousness picks up things very easily and you cannot really mm, like you cannot shepherd it or I don't know keep your eyes on it keep it in check 24 7 um when you know I see it a lot like these people they don't care about self-improvement and mind you that all of us all of us who went through the public school system is playing a catch-up game <laughs> you don't believe me the school system on purpose teaches you everything about nothing useless stuff but you know you gotta learn so many things how to take care of yourself in this world how things work how to behave what to do how to see things how to think improvise act also develop some sort of skill to contribute to society school doesn't teach you this these things huh it's on purpose man like they want you weak and stupid but you cannot <laughs> deep inside I know you feel it like you feel that you are capable of more that you deserve more and it's true but when the system is built to be against you you gotta fight for it more than if it wasn't there and it's rough I'm gonna be honest it's really hard nowadays then all other problems develop from this fact that we've been paying attention to the wrong things and not focusing on developing ourselves then the problems translate to relationships with women with other people money fulfillment in life physical health everything bro so if you spend time with people that are okay with playing video games wasting their lives away having like fun right but it takes a toll it taxes your future self and I think your future self deserves some respect <laughs> um, yeah so that's why it's important who you hang around with Um, and it's not just physical like people in the real world it's also the people that you listen to online the people that you consume content from uh, you know these influencers on social media they are telling you what you want to hear or showing you what to what you want to see and most of the time you only pay attention to what you want to hear and what you want to see so it's like a like a s circle and you're inside of it and you know you're walking around 
the walls not thinking out of the circle or box or whatever and you're in this limbo of uh, complacency you know conformity that it's easy to get lost in it but if you want to develop yourself you gotta get out there it doesn't have to be like you have to stay out there f forever you can go out there and come back go out come back however you feel like it you know it's like living in a hut and going out to hunt gather resources and then coming back home you know to your safe haven safe space <clears throat> um yeah so that's why i think it's important to listen to people that are telling you what you need to hear not what you want to hear what you need to hear and you know you are in charge who you listen to and you should know the best what you need to hear and what you need as well because nobody lived the life that you did nobody experienced the things that you did as much as you so logically it's you who knows yourself the best and if you don't you gotta you lost yourself you gotta find yourself again no one else is gonna do this for you they might give you a helping hand but you gotta reach for it yourself you gotta they gotta see or hear that you are trying that you are seeking help and actually trying to um, work on it yourself <clears throat> so yeah man spend time with people that you know are supportive of your growth the people that aren't hindering you aren't, aren't um, including you in their bad activities the like drinking or video games or whatever it is meaningless things meaningless activities like what is important to you that's the ultimate decision that you have to be making what is important to you who do you want to be um so i think that's it dude <laughs> i'm all over the place Yo, th uh, thanks for listening. Or wait, wait, wait. Also, how do you get these friends, right? Uh, that's something that I'm kind of struggling with myself. But there are ways. There has to be a way. Where there's will, there's a way. And right now, I think online. <laughs> On YouTube actually the people are supportive and you know probably on a similar path you want to walk with people that are on a similar path then you can share your experiences give yourself some tips maybe and you know it's better but online doesn't uh, 
doesn't really s substitute fully the real experience but it's better than nothing for sure I don't know yeah I think it's better than not having anyone really <clears throat> But most of the time, if you can, um, you'll meet people with similar interests at places that support these or support the development of your interests. It might be the gym, it might be the library, it might be, I don't know, a club. Mm, yeah but it's difficult nowadays no denying in that but that's not the reason why we should give up on hope and this search this seeking you know because your life is worth living your life is worth pursuing and living to the fullest Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening. See ya.